Hello, my name is Arnie Chinta uh, with AudioGuide.com. I am here with Hervé Delaitra, uh, the founder and uh, chief engineer for Dogzilla. Thank you very much for your time and being nice here. Nice to meet you, Arnie. Pleasure to be there. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about your history in audio and how you got started with Dogzilla. Well, it's a long story. I'm trying to take to make it short. But, uh, <laughs> Begin at 12, uh, fan of audio, um, right beginning with uh, some Japanese brand at the, at the time. Later I graduated in an engineering school, electronic engineering school, with um, my professor in telecommunication at the time to, to realize uh, an amplifier for my uh, thesis uh, work. Mm. And uh, funny, at the time it was uh, 1984, mm -hmm. And uh, it was a digital amp. But, uh, digital amplifier, 1984. Yes, uh, yes mm. it was a PWM, just uh, class D mm. Uh, mm -hmm. machine, and uh, it was a little bit a uh, challenge because we didn't have all the, the chips to make make it work. So we had to, to use a discrete uh, component to make it work. But it, it okay. was it was funny. Mm. Since then, um, my my goal, my aim was to to, to build. My own amplifier, uh, amplifier for, for for real. I mean, uh, to sell it, to share it with, with friends. And uh, I tried to to continue the digital field, but uh, at the time it was not so easy uh, to 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 make a digital machine uh, working well, especially with the output filtering and mm. uh, with the sampling frequency, etc. Mm. And so I decided to to go back to analog. And uh, then it took me about sixteen years. To, to make the what is called uh, to let the, the NHB 108 to, to work. Mm. And uh, well, remember uh, the first prototype, it was uh, working, really working without smoking, without exploding. <laughs> it was in <laughs> 1999. Okay. Fire, for the first time, it fired without fire. <laughs> <laughs> fired it up without any actual flames. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's right. At first listening, uh, my friend uh, immediately told me that you, you can't keep it for you. You have to make it in series to, to, to sell it to, mm -hmm. to, to friend. I want one, I want one. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I prepared three, four machines in a hurry to go to the HE uh, 2002 mm -hmm. to, to introduce the amplifier. Uh, it, it, was, it was very nice because uh, I had a very good uh, reception uh, from American people. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I was. Um, like in paradise, in heaven. I mean, uh, so 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 young in the industry, and we so so smile on uh, the reviewer and the, the just to discover a new machine. And then we we just had uh, to consolidate because uh, I was still alone and the process. And so the reason I uh, I searched to to search to come in the company, and we found that Dotsil incorporated in uh, two thousand four. Mm. Uh, Serge uh, became the president and uh, the designer. So, so we well, worked together in, uh, in this film. Okay, okay. So, considering uh, some of the technical aspects of the amplifier, um, uh, I understand you have a patent on the circuit? Yes, uh, it's true. Uh, actually, uh, my first goal was to, to make a uh, machine as simple as, as possible. When you look at uh, all the tube, machine, mm -hmm. they use uh, very few components and mm. you usually uh, get very good sound. I was wondering if it was only because it's transistor versus tube or maybe just because the, the transistor schematics were too complicated regarding mm. tubes. Okay. So uh, I tried to, to make a simple, uh, as simple as possible uh, transistor uh, scan. Basically uh, I work with like Lego Lego mm. circuit, very simple s schematics. Okay. And uh, when it was working, I tried to remove one part of the Lego. Ah. It was is the building was still. Or it catches on fire or not? Yeah, that, that's <laughs> it. That's it. So and remove then, as many components as possible. Yes, yes, yes. And of course, it was not working uh, as easy, but it was the, the principle. Mm -hmm. And at mm -hmm. the end, uh, I ended up with a very simple schematic with only uh, six devices, uh, silicon devices from in to out. Wow, six? Only six, uh, and uh, including the output stage, which uh, use only one transistor per. Hmm. And also, 
this machine has a very uh, wide bandwidth. The machine has about one megahertz bandwidth. It's 50 times the frequency you need for audio, mm -hmm. but uh, it's the about the range you need if you don't have to have more too much fast shift at the end of the audio spectrum. Mm -hmm. It was not easy to, to, to make it work all yeah. together. No feedback yet, wide bandwidth? Yes. and uh, Stable? Yes, yes, mm. it, it was not easy. Uh, and uh, it's because it took me so much time. <laughs> That's why. So, the scaling is so simple that we, we can use it for, uh, don't, don't scale it for uh, preamp and don't scale it again for phono stage. Or right. Down the phono? Yes, wow. yeah, okay. down, down the phono mm. with some adaptation, of course. Sure. Then we, we realized the preamp, but the goal in the preamp was also to make a preamp without any switch or relay or contact in the signal path. The signal path. So how do you select uh, yeah. in volume and so on? That was the challenge because uh, how, how, yeah, how, how, how do you do it? So actually we use uh, optical uh, components. Oh. You mm. can just enable or disable inputs mm. without uh, connecting or disconnecting. Connect we just way. enable or disable. So wow by light if you want. Mm -hmm. And also the volume control is the same. We use four, uh, uh, two volume control per side. We have a lot mm -hmm. of software in the preamp to control everything, but the signal path is fully analog. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, 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 the path is very short too, because the, there is no, no, no sound going to the front plate. Mm -hmm. Very short path. So no selector, rotating selector switch, the, or the, the, there is potentiometer. The, there is in the I mean, you have them, but not in the circuit. That's it. Wow, that's wow. It. There is no zero contact in the signal path, mm. and you can hear it. Uh, mm. It's also quite transparent. And also, to, to get best of both machines, we also uh, developed our uh, dot to z links, the 50 ohm links. Mm. What I mean, developed it is not really the truth because we, we just apply uh, an old physics uh, thing that's match matching with match link like in the networks. Okay. Computer okay. networks. Okay. Was never using audio. Some people told me that it's not necessary to have matched uh, link because the, the, the lengths are too short. But mm. in practice when you try you can hear the difference. You can hear it. So would you care to mention one or two of the upcoming products you're working on? You, you are, we are presently working on an integrated uh, amplifier. Ah, uh, integrated. The, the goal will be to bring about 80%, 85% of the quality of the separator, mm -hmm. maybe uh, one third of the price of the, the combo. Wow. Then we will mm -hmm. also introduce uh, monoblocks. Ah. The goal will be uh, bringing monoblocks with the same quality of the sound as we have now. It will be another challenge. So. Okay. It takes some time too. Before the monoblocks come, or whether, or if I have one of your stereo amplifiers, and I find that I have very large speakers in a large room, and would like more impact, uh, would you recommend biamp, vertical biamp? How would you recommend? Oh, uh, if yes. I was to buy two of your stereo amplifiers. Yes. Uh, yes, the vertical biamp is uh, what we are. We recommend because uh, you cannot bridge the machine. Because if you bridge, the amplifier sees half the speaker impedance. Am I correct in that? Yes. Uh, so it needs uh, a lot more current now. Yes, you need more uh, twice the current when you bridge and uh, the, the transistor cannot cope with double the current. Mm -hmm. The, current. the mm -hmm. transistor uh, can, can be about 25 amps. That's but quite a bit, but... Quite a bit point. for one per, but uh, yeah. I like to have some headroom and uh, when you bridge, you, you never know. So, so you would recommend a vertical buy-in? Vertical buy ounce, yes, yes, it's a, it's a good good way. Well, that's wonderful. I appreciate uh, uh, your sharing of the uh, some of the more intimate details of the uh, design and circuitry and so on. And it's, a, it's an absolute pleasure to get to know you. It was a pleasure for me. Thank you very Ari. much. See you soon. Thank you See very you much. Bye-bye.